Started as a small family bakery in Ybor City over a century ago, now finds itself on the map as the largest supplier of authentic Cuban bread in the world. In this week's Made in the Bay, I went inside La Segunda to see what it takes to make 20,000 loaves a day before they're shipped out coast to coast. Tony Moore is the third generation owner at La Segunda. In the old days, you'd take it out and knead it by hand. Not letting go of the old days at La Segunda and Ybor City is what now makes them the largest supplier of authentic Cuban bread in the world. It makes it feel good that this product is, is going all over the United States. The bakery prides itself that it still makes its bread in an old world style, and it's making them modern day popular all over the U.S. And this is one of the problems we're having now is meeting demand. I mean, it is. We were just talking about that. That's a good problem to have. Up to 20,000 loaves are made here a day. Big mixers and cutters are the only modern machines. From there, the bread is rolled out by hand and baked in a hearth, but not before getting a signature Florida palmetto leaf on top of the bread. But that makes that bread split perfectly right on top. Right, that's exactly what it does. We don't have timers, we don't have stopwatches. So every loaf is done by hand, the palmetto is done by hand, everything is put in the oven by hand. Then shipped out all over town, the state, and coast to coast, serving restaurants and food suppliers as far away as Alaska, and most importantly, the lines of Tampa Bay customers that have been forming at the bakery's storefront for 103 years. Bread being broken on America's dinner tables, and it's all made in the Bay. And the demand is increasing, it's not going down, it keeps going up. And finding seasoned bakers to keep up with that demand has not been easy. La Segunda had to start a four-week training program for new bakers coming in on how to make Cuban bread in the old world style. They're also expanding to a storefront on Kennedy very soon.